Hi, thanks for clicking on my video. My name is Beth Ann of Beth Ann Stamps, and this is our fourth video in the July, Christmas in July cards and tags series. It's a mouthful, I know. So for this video, we're looking at leaves of holly, and that does come in a bundle. You can get the holly berry dies with that and save that 10%. And for the cards we're doing today, we're not gonna be using these dies. I will, however, be pulling in in a little while the Taylor Made tie, tie, Taylor Made tag dies. Okay, um, and we'll be using those to make our gift tags. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So I have a sample here for you. This is what we're doing. We're really going to showcase uh, the Bows of Holly designer series paper pattern paper. Um, and the stamps. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna bring in my kit here and it is a five and a quarter by eight and a half scored at that four and a quarter. And then we're going to build our layers. And of course, I'll also include all these dimensions in the coordinating blog linked below. So our first layer is at five and three eighths by four and an eighth and this is Mossy Meadow. And then I'm bringing in a piece of, from that Bows of Holly paper. Aren't these beautiful? This paper has such depth. It looks, it almost looks velvety. And this is five and a quarter by four. So I will attach this. I like to build my complete card front and then adhere it down to my card base. Let's see, all right, so we have that. The next layer, I'm liking all these layers. It really makes for a very sturdy card. So our next layer again is Mossy Meadow and it's one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. And to that, I'm gonna put another piece of the designer series paper that's one and three quarters by five and a quarter. I thought about this side. I think this time I'm gonna bring in the brown. Get this on here. See if I can get that lined up. This one does go edge to edge with a little bit of that mossy meadow showing on the top and the bottom. So we will layer this one on. And I'm gonna put that towards the bottom. Just have that small edge down here at the bottom. Okay, so our next layer, we're going to stamp our um, focal point and our outside of our card sentiment on this one. It's five and three eighths by three and a quarter. And we're going to stamp the sentiment first. And I'm going to do that in the cherry cobbler. And this is from our home to yours. I'm going to put this up in that left corner. Pull it in so I can see where I'm stamping that. Okay, now let me close. You know what, I'm not gonna close that because I also wanna stamp the inside of my card with Christmas wishes. I'm gonna pull it down here so I can get a good look at it here and try to line this up. There we go. All right, put that back to the side. I will close up the cherry cobbler. So now I wanna stamp the holly leaves. And we have two different size leaves here and they're, they're the dual stamp. So this is the, what I would call the background. It's the more the flat non-textured. And so what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm stamping them all in soft succulent. So I'm gonna stamp that off and then place that stamp here. And then I'm going to bring in the textured one and I will not stamp that off. I'm going to leave it full strength. Let me get my head in the way here again to try to line that up. There we go. So you get that nice textured look. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to bring in the larger leaf and I'm going to stamp it off probably hear my little puppy over here whining. He wants up here with me. He 
thinks he's missing something. All right, so here's full strength again. You know what, it's a little off. I'm not gonna worry about it. I think it still looks good. I think I said in my last video, if anybody wants to complain about it, they go on the store-bought list instead of the homemade list. All right, we're gonna do also the two stamps for the berries, the background and the details. So I'm sort of gonna hit, looks like I cut the edge of something there. So let's put that on there, let that ink sink in. And then we're going to do the details around it in full strength. There we go. move those out of the way that's going to go on to another layer of mossy meadow at three and three quarters by three and three eighths these cards have a lot of layers but they would be easy to make um, in mass quantities you just pre-cut everything and just sit down and stamp and put together i got a little bit of ink here in the corner let me see if i can find my sand eraser to Try and remove that. Sometimes, if it's just a little bit, you can get that off of there without destroying the paper too much. That will do. Now for this, I am going to use, um, I guess because I stamped on my pad, that's why I have that on there. I am going to use um, dimensionals, and this page is just about empty. Let's see, I like to use everything on the page. <laughs> Why let them go to waste, right? And I like to have a lot of them on there, as I heard somebody say. In a event I did last week, um, you don't want a saggy sentiment. So we will peel these off. I think that one's gone. So I typically like to do and have a video posted every Wednesday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern. August is going to be a slightly busy month with lots of family vacations. So we will not probably have one every week in August. So I just wanted to let you know ahead of time. So make sure you turn on that notification button so you do get notified when I do post a new video. Or I should say when my husband uploads, edits and uploads my videos. So there we go. Here's our card. I think these are so pretty. I'll show you them in some other colors here. This is all those different papers. And I'm gonna bring the red and green adhesives. So I think on this one, I will do, um, let's do the red this time. Put a couple of these on here. I have been using a lot of these dots, as you can tell. So they're such rich, bold colors. So that's our card this week. You get to see it here in different um, color choices. They are all either done with Mossy Meadow or Cherry Cobbler as the cardstock color, and then all stamped in Soft Succulent and Cherry Cobbler. And now let's look at the tags. I think these ones are so fun. Again, I'm really trying to showcase that pattern paper. So let's take a look at these. I cut out the tag using the largest angled tag and the tailor-made tag dies. Yes, it's a mouthful. And then the small one is cut to the next to the smallest size. So we're gonna make two different tags tonight. 
So the first thing I wanna do is I do wanna stamp these two white tags with my sentiment. So we're gonna use those Christmas wishes again. And I'm just gonna put it right in the middle. Okay. Now, what I did with these tags, I wanted the full color on it. So I cut a piece of paper. These are cut one and three quarters by three and five eighths to fit right in the middle here. But I wanted them to play well with the stamp tag and just be on the inside of the stitch lines. And I also wanted them to angle. So we're just gonna hold them up here and slide a pair of scissors in and cut that in an angle. Remember now, this is simply a gift tag. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I got that one. I will glue it on. Let's see. We want it inside that stitch line. There we go. And then I have another one here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to line it up. Grab my scissors. And just cut that angle. There we go. And I will glue this one in. You let the paper do the work on these ones. They're so fun. I love making gift tags. And you could do these tags with any paper. They don't have to just be for the holidays and Christmas. So then I want need to punch a hole. So I'm going to line up my small hole punch here and... For this one, I have to punch it twice to get that little oval look. I'll do the same here, lining that up. Okay, there we go. Now, for these, you could just tie these on, but I wanted them to go on and be at that angle to showcase that paper. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on one side of it to hold it in place there. So it's off to the side a little. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. I just sort of like the way it looks to be held in place there. And then, now these ones I did with soft succulent paper. These are the cherry cobbler and this was um, a soft succulent uh, ribbon with a real red. It's a retired item that I pulled out of my stash. But for these ones, I thought since they were in the cherry cobbler, I brought back in here a real red ribbon. I think it was from last year's catalog. So I'm just gonna couple pieces of that. I'll squeeze this through here. And then again, another retired item in my stash was some mossy meadow. Um, I don't even know what they called this. It's just uh, like a hemp, a thin piece. So I thought, well, bring in those two colors again to my tags. So, and to hold this down in place while I tie these so they don't get in my way, these are, uh, the reverse tweezers from the new embossing kit that's in the mini catalog. So those happen to hold very well for me while I'm tying this. I'm just going to tie a little knot there, pull those up, and then you can trim them, leave them as long or as short as you prefer. And we'll do this one. So, did you attend any Christmas in July events? I tell you what, I got a lot of Christmas cards made this July. It's been nice. I will be ready come November to start addressing my cards. 
there we go. Trim those off. So that's simple this week. Those are my cards and tags for the last video of this series. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Um, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. So here are the tags. And here are the cards from this week. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions about any of the products I use, please feel free to reach out to me. And as always, I really appreciate you taking time out of your week to watch my videos. And I would greatly appreciate it and be thankful if you would hit that like button, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.